Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Boom Blast on PC using the amazing BlueStacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Boom Blast and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Boom Blast. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to open our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. You don't need to type the URL, because I provided the link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. After we click on that link, we get to the website of BlueStacks which the Android emulator that we will use to play Boom Blast on PC. As you can see from here we get a number of pros of preferring using this emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Boom Blast by clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green color. The step is clicking on this button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the system. We have said yes. I minimize the browser to start to see the installer considerably better. The installer is very simple. It includes a couple of possibilities, install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does. We simply just click it. And therefore we see that we display here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we have to vary this directory we have got to click on this, browse, button and we choose another directory and install the emulator precisely where we would like. I prefer to keep it by default. I simply click back, and I pick install. Now, there it is. The install begins and it will commence along with the download of all these megabytes which are shown on the screen. When you save it on your hard disk, it may be more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate may go faster or slower, depending on your connection and according to the speed of the emulator web servers. Right away they are progressing incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it actually reaches the end, the emulator will be launched for the first time. In reality the emulator is already launched, there for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it has created two icons right here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon is the one we're concerned about. Anytime we have to launch Boom Blast on the desktop or laptop, we double mouse click on this particular icon and start the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's make the next step, which is actually a must-have, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to System Apps, we click on and we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. At this point we need to log on. At this moment the moment we are right here, we must perform this next step that is definitely mandatory. So we simply click on Sign In. Now it announces Checking Info. It might from time to time get stopped at Checking Info, that's why it isn't going to continue. If so, you should try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it will most probably be resolved. Now we can type in our email address and password. The email address must be a Gmail email address as well as its corresponding password. As an example you can use the same email you are using currently in your YouTube account. Then I will enter my data and I will come back after I have completed it. Voila! Data typed. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We can accept them all by clicking on I agree. Next, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You could keep it selected and it will make a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. 
I won't check it. You can utilize that option if you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is started by default and completely on its own. To set up the app, we would need to go to the Android emulator desktop by left clicking this icon marked in green. At present that we are on the desktop of that Android emulator, we observe that we find there the install application button. We simply click on that button. Listed here we have the Android game. Why don't we just click right here on the install button that I'm just showing now in green. That click will start the software setup. At this point it would download on your laptop or computer and install the Android game. It could take a while or it could be extremely fast. It all is subject to on our internet access. It's already ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this button that I am highlighting in green, so that you can use Boom Blast for the first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop, and we're going to click on that brand new Boom Blast icon that has been generated. The Android game is launched for the first time. Here we end up with it. I could mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the volume level of the emulator. This is right here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we could activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is the very first one. We mouse click on this app icon which I am pointing out in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In case we like to appreciate the app in full screen, we press on this particular icon. And we might presently be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To exit the 100% screen setting, press the F11 key. And we might now be in standard display mode. At present, I am going to clarify you the computer keys mapping which is certainly surprisingly useful. That way we will likely be in a position to use the game more easily. The first point is to click this software icon, and there you will have the ability to make the appropriate configurations. I most certainly will put the default configuration, but if you like to change that, you can also do this with no problem. As you can observe, the emulator is completely in our own language. From time to time it occurs that the emulator is started in the improper language, for example, in Chinese. And consequently to set it up in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. And right here inside of additional configuration settings, we click the language drop down. We should choose the language we wish, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. Once the language is chosen, we should say the emulator would reboot along with the game application. Next time we launch it would of course be in the chosen language. At this moment, you will find another aspect that we need to take into account. And it's that we will get an email saying that a new machine has been connected to our own Google account. It should check with us if we're the ones who have connected that device. Yup, we really should not be troubled, considering the fact that emulator is emulating in Google Android tablet or smartphone. And to determine which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Let's go here to the, model, selection. And now we discover that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, specifically that you found it useful. If that's the case, give it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and if you have comments, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment area below. Just click on any of those videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and let's have fun again in the following video tutorials. Bye!